Hello. Today I'll be showing you how to use the powerful features of SRS Global Searches. These searches allow you to search for a stamp without having to know the country of origin or pretty much anything about the stamp other than the denomination and most people can at least read the numerical denomination on a stamp. Easy Stamp and SRS will not bombard you with irrelevant results searches from the internet and in trying to identify a stamp. Easy, uh, Easy Stamp and SRS will find your stamps in seconds. A similar product being offered by our competitors it takes over 10 minutes to find a single stamp. If you value your time, SRS is the way to go. I will let SRS speak for itself and show you how easy and incredibly fast it is. I remind you that with Easy Stamp, you do not need to know which country a stamp is from. SRS does not force you to go and search the internet results and spend time trying to see if there's any information relevant to your stamp. Most of the time you'll also have to deal with the fact that the results they provide are using different numbering systems other than Scott so you'll just have to try and convert between these other numbering systems and back to Scott. Again, another waste of your time. So let's start by showing you some of the images that I've, I've scanned here. These are mostly uh, Chinese, Japanese, Russian, uh, stamps from Manchukuo, and just to show, those are usually the, the most difficult stamps to identify. So what I'll do is I'll start SRS in global mode. And with uh, SRS, you can create country lists. So for example, I've created a country list here called Asia and Russia. So these are the countries that we'll be searching. All you have to do is drop an image. You can cut and paste the stamp in there, uh, load it from your disk, but I'll be just dragging them. So I'll take this stamp here, drop it in. We can see that it has a denomination of three in there. Click Start Search. And within less than two seconds, we found two stamps that match that criteria. So let's grab the next one. So this one is 1.6, so we'll just type that in, do the search. And there's our stamp. When you double click on it, you can verify that that is the right stamp. And let's go to the next one. That one has a number four on it. Right away. Let's take another one. See how fast it is? Try doing that with a different product. You'll still be on your first stamp. There it is. Change the denomination, start the search. As SRS goes through the, uh, the search abilities, it shows you what country it's currently searching. It found our match right away. Notice that you don't have to actually put in the uh, actual denom uh, monetary unit for the, uh, denom uh, for the stamp. All you have to do is put a number that is showing on the stamp. So let's take this one here. I'll just slowly go through them all. Notice how Easy Stamp also signs, finds the varieties. There's two kinds of this stamp. So if we enlarge it, you can see one that was, it's got number 3096 and 3096A. So most people wouldn't know whether this was China, Japan, Taiwan, 
SRS will help you find it very quickly. There it is. That's from China. Again, one of the nice things about SRS, it really doesn't matter if the stamp is mint or used, it will still find your stamp. As long as the stamp isn't totally obliterated by the cancel, it should have no trouble finding your stamp. So let's try this one. Again, found it right away. Notice these are live results. There's no delay here. This is happening as I speak. had a little bit of trouble but still found it and I believe these are Japanese again finds it very quickly there's a used one that's an 80 As you can see, SRS has no trouble finding this. It doesn't require to be on the internet. It just works. Here we found several varieties. More, more than likely they're perforation varieties, but I can't tell from here yet. I believe that's a Russian stamp. Russia is a huge database, but you should have no trouble finding it. Again, there you see it. Russia has over 10,000 stamps in the Easy Stamp database. And there's another one. Oh, that's the same one. Souvenir sheets are not a problem either. This one is a 30. There's another Russian. We'll put that in. Imagine how long that would take you to look it up in a catalog or using a different product. You'd be here all night. And as you can see, we went through probably uh, 40, 50 stamps in just a few minutes. Another nice thing about, uh, here I'll put this one back in, um, Easy Stamp and SRS, once you find the stamp, it's very simple to uh, inventory that stamp. So I'll do that one again. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to add it to my inventory. It's already there. And when you get out of Easy Stamp, there it is. If you double click on it, it will load the Russian database and you just go ahead and inventory it. So as I said before, if you're truly looking for uh, stamp recognition software, SRS is the fastest and the most accurate and it is really the only way to go. But I'll leave that up to you. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.